In this video, we'll set up some custom validation. So we have these two password fields, and what we'll do is we'll set up a validator that will check to see if these two password fields match each other. If we go to our checklist, the first thing we'll do is we'll create a brand new service. We don't actually need to create this service, but just to keep our code organized, we'll, we'll put our validators in this, this service. So we'll create a new service, and then we'll create a password match method inside this service. So let's knock these two things out first. Let's generate our new service right at the root, ng, g, and it's gonna be a service. And I'll put it within its own folder though, so like services, and call it custom validation. All right, there's our brand new service folder. Open that up. And then right below the constructor, I'll paste our, our password validator. And I actually have that online. If we go into the browser and click on this tab. So look down in the description and you'll find this link. And if you click on that um, and end up on this page, you want to copy this method right here. And we'll go over in a second exactly what this does. Copy this. Let's jump back into our service right below the constructor, paste it. And then uh, make sure you bring in your form group, bring in your imports, and bring that in from Angular Forms. And then let's go over real quick what this does. So this entire, um, this method returns a function right here. And then here we pass in the form group that we're working with. And then here we're passing in two strings, and this is for later on getting our controls. So this password, for example, we pass it in here, and this is how we're getting the control out of the form group. Same with the confirmed password. So we got our two controls here. Then we're gonna do a bunch of checks. One, we check if the controls even exist. Like, did we get in a control or is it null? And then if there's no controls, we just return null. And then if there's any pa um, er errors already, return null. And then here's where we actually do our check. So if the Passwords are not matching up. We set an error and we set our own uh, property name. And this is what we're going to check later on for the uh, form validation. And I'll show you that pretty soon. And then if they do match on the other hand, then we just set the errors to null. And that's pretty much it for our password match validator. Now that we set up our servers, now we're ready to actually use this within our TS file. So let's set that up next. Now that we set up our service, let's inject our service into the TS file, and then we'll use our validator within our controls. So, or actually our form group. If we go back here and um, open up our TS file, and then we first need to inject our service. I should have left that open, and then just copy this, jump back in here, and we'll inject it into our constructor. If I can find it, there it is. Just add it onto the end here. You call it anything you want, I'll call it a uh, custom validator or something like that. Validator and then paste. Make sure we bring in our service. And we should have access to that method now. So now let's add on some validation to our form here. And to do this, I mess this up all the time. I always add it into the wrong location. Where you want to add it is right at the end of this bracket here. So uh, right here, you add in comma and then a object like this. So let's give that some space. So you want it to look like that. And then here we're going to use a property called validator, not validators with the S, but without the S of so validator. And then here is where we're going to use our new method. So uh, whatever you called it, I call it a custom validator. And then the, the method is validator. Then here we're going to pass in our control names. Very important that we spell it correctly. So two strings, and that's gonna be our control names. So I'll copy this, paste that in here. And the second one is our confirmed password. So copy this again, and paste that in here. Okay, and that's pretty much it for using our new validator in our TS file. Save this. This should be working. Uh, let's check it out in the browser real quick. Okay, so currently our form is invalid, so let's take care of a lot of our errors. Like this field is required, I'll take care of that. And it's a minimum of three, so now we got four. That should take care of our username. And then the password is required, one, two, three. That should take care of that. And the confirmed password is required, one, two. And then we're still getting the invalid. So I could tell that our validator, our password validator is working. And just to make sure, let's enter in three, 
and as you can see it flipped over and then if we throw in another number four it goes back to invalid so our confirmed password or our password validator is working now let's add a little bit better feedback if we go to our checklist now we'll add uh, error feedback to the template for our password validator and let's open up our sign up HTML and then right below the confirm password input field we'll add our message right here and bootstrap gives us a lot of classes to help us with the form validation and one is called is invalid and I actually have that in the browser uh, let's uh, jump into to the browser and the look that we're looking for is something like this this re nice red border and then some red text below the input field and actually I could go down here and copy this div right here so the classes that I want to use is the invalid feedback for the message and that's giving the red color like this and then the red border is coming from this is invalid I just added that class let's jump back in here I'll just paste it right below the confirm password the div and then uh, I'll change this to like uh, passwords don't match or something like that alright let's check that out in the browser save this and we jump back in here and that's the look that we're going for now we want to add the functionality to this so when these two don't match up then we want this to show up if we jump back in here and we only want to add this class if certain conditions are met so I'll just cut this out of here and we'll use what's called the ng class I'll add that right below here ng class and then it's going to be equal to and this kind of gets tricky here uh, so I'll go through it slowly so it's going to be an object like this then in here you want to paste your bootstrap class and then we want this to be applied conditionally if, if certain conditions are met so to do that you go like this and then we we're calling the user form and then we want to get a control out of the user form and do that you use the get method and what are we getting the confirm password copy this and paste it in here and then uh, we're listening for the errors so if there's any errors at all um, apply this class to to our our class and that's pretty much it for that and then here we want to display this on certain conditions not all the time so uh, we'll use a, a ng directive ng if directive and we'll do something like we're doing right here copy this and then just paste that in here and we're going to use another class that this user form gives us and it's called has error so dot has error and what error are we checking for well we set that within our service uh, and I'll just jump back in there and copy and paste that and that is right here so whatever you name this uh, you want to put it in there so copy this let's go back in here and paste it in here so I don't spell it wrong all right so this will only show up when there's an error this password map mismatch error save this and let's check this out in the browser here in the browser the reason we're getting this this red border currently is because the, this field is required and uh, the error is kicking in for that and we'll be taking care of that soon enough but our password validator should be working so if I enter in one here click out of it and then enter in one here it matches but if I enter in two they don't match and then three four so um, that is working that's good uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this red border so we don't get hit with that right away when we load the page and if we go back here and jump into here or actually to the end of here and we're gonna say end and we're gonna check to see if the for form was ever touched or this input field was ever touched and to do that we could just copy this we're checking the same control and here at the end we got another property and this is called touched it's amazing the whole list of like properties and methods you have access to so I'll minimize this so we can see it better so you want it to look like this so now we're checking to see if it was ever touched at all either so save this let's check that in the browser okay we're not being hit by that border right away anymore let's test this again one 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 and then one if I click out of it passwords don't match one one okay and it works and then one again and it uh, kicks in 
Uh, later video, we're going to be adding more feedback to this form. I just wanted to go ahead and add this in since we're on the topic of confirming passwords. I just wanted to show you how to do that in this video for the feedback. Now, in the next video, we're going to be setting up uh, the username validator. And this validator is going to be for checking to make sure that the username is unique. And we'll be setting that up in the next video. So I'll see you then.